I'm back in the States for my last year before my visa expires and I'm permanently kicked out of this country forever. Just kidding. Kind of? There's a lot of things I want to do here before I move back to the Philippines though, so in this vlog, I'll tell you all about my goals and everything I'm working on. Guys, I just finished border control in the States, like for the last time really that I'm here on a student visa. And I was so nervous because I'm coming into the States self-employed for the first time. You know, in the past it was like, I'm a student, but now I graduated. And so when he asked, like, what are you doing here? I was like, I am working on a startup that I started. And he was actually so nice. He was like, how? You were the first person I have met who is here on self-employed working on a startup. And he was like, you know how much, how many of these I get every single day? And he was like, hundreds. But you were the first person who First day back in Indigala. I woke up at 5 a.m. today. <laughs> well, I woke up several times because we played jet lag. 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 5 a.m., and around 3 a.m., I was just like, you know what, we're just gonna get up. Anyways, I am going to put these in the fridge and then continue to work on editing a video I'm so stoked for you guys to see. Guys, I also just want to say I am so proud to have finished this Cornell degree series on my channel. Seriously, like this is my last little like gift to the Cornell community. I don't know if you can even call it a gift. It's, it's honestly also just a gift for my younger self when I was a first year and I wish someone had told me every single thing that I put into this entire series with 10 videos. So I hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> After that, I got lunch with friends at Circus Truck, which is a hidden gem of a food truck here. And I'm mad respect for staying open in the snow. Somehow my friends managed to convince me to go on a walk in freezing temperature, but I gotta say it was beautiful. One of my New Year's goals is to gym more. I want to give it a real shot because a lot of my friends seem to enjoy it and see it as a fulfilling form of personal development. Now, I thought it was super boring because when I played volleyball in high school, we'd have to do fitness days and I looked forward to them the least. In college, I actually also had a gym pass, but if I'm being honest, the main reason was because I didn't have any other option for exercise and vanity. But this time, I think I'm going into gymming with a much healthier mindset where I just want to treat my body well. Quick work sesh with friends where I uploaded a video I'm so proud of. Please go send it some love. We got dinner at Panera. And this is another New Year's goal of mine. To budget and be wiser about personal finances. I started budgeting since I graduated and I've stuck to it pretty well, but I find that sometimes I still feel bad for eating at mid restaurants. So I made rules like eat out only with friends because being with people is what gives me the joy. Otherwise, I'll just cook when I eat by myself and that's given me a lot of joy too. So it's been a win-win. Good morning, it is a new day in Ithaca, New York, and would you look at how beautiful this is? It snowed a lot yesterday, so Cornell's campus is just blanketed with snow. Anyways, today we are starting the day with some journaling and quiet time reading the Bible. This has been a New Year's goal of mine for many years to finish the Bible cover to cover, but I'm not mad that I haven't done it because I realize the Bible is a book to be meditated on and pondered over. So it's not about how much of it I get through, but rather how much of it gets through to me. Today, my roommate and I were supposed to go ice skating, which I'm a baby at, by the way, but the rink was closed, so we decided to go on a hike instead. And when I say we, I mean she, because I would not think of hiking in this weather. When we got back, I meal prepped and cooked some dumplings, kale, salmon, and brown rice. This is the last goal I'll talk about this vlog, but I really want to cook more this year. Like, ideally, all my weekday meals I cook and then save the weekends for eating out with friends. I want to feed my body with healthy, whole foods, and I think that's much easier to do when I'm the one buying my food, choosing the ingredients, choosing the recipes, 
and overall just more conscious about nutrition and what makes my body feel the best. We're going to Stewart Park because it's actually, it's not that warm, it's, it's zero degrees. Oh, this is so, it feels like summer, but it's not. <laughs> it's weird, right? I know. Praise the Lord. Turn right onto Gardner Parkway, then arrive at your destination. I have just such good memories here. It's such a beautiful lake. It's literally a 10 minute drive away from campus. But it's so crazy that I live right next to this beautiful lake. Um, Pause, rest, and take in the beauty of the world. I'm feeling kind of sick. <laughs> you can tell from my voice. <sighs> I thought I had been doing pretty healthy. I want to blame it on the temperature drop. Like it was negative four degrees and I was out for a little bit because I think I got overconfident when I was going on walks in freezing temperature. I went on a 30 minute hike in zero degree temperature and I thought I was doing well. So, you know, negative four, what more to it? I was just vibing and. <sighs> I don't know, I always look at sickness and think it's probably some sign to slow down, to take it easy on my body physically. And I'm also heating up, like, ugh. Turns out it was COVID, so I canceled all of my plans that weekend and just stayed in to rest. Times like these always remind me of how our bodies are daily miracles that we often take for granted when they're functioning well, and I admittedly only fully appreciate when I'm sick. And I'm not able to do these daily functions like talk because my voice is gone or breathe because my nose is congested or walk because I'm so fatigued. It makes me really want to take care of my body well. Like earlier when I was at the gym and I felt strong and healthy because that is a blessing I want to be mindful of every single day I get. Anyways, I'm going to finish washing the dishes and then head to bed. Thank you guys for watching, subscribe for more vlogs and the many adventures we'll have in these last few months together in the States. I love you, I hope you get some rest and take care. Bye!